Hello, how are you? I am doing okay. I hope you are too. Um, today is Monday, so I hope you had a fabulous weekend. I did um, pretty good on my show. I made my booth feedback, <clears throat> and I made enough to cover the previous show's booth fee that I didn't get back. So I feel like I feel good. Two shows. I'm in the clear. Barely a profit, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not out money at this point, so we are good. Um, I have another show coming up on the 18th, so I'm very excited. Um, but I do have to do some restocking, which is awesome. Um, I didn't sell any big pieces, which I was kind of bummed about, but I did sell quite a few of my small pieces, which is exciting because it's exciting. I sold stuff. People liked my stuff so much that they actually gave me money and take it, took it home with them. And one lady, I even tried to give her something because I have, <clears throat> I have like this collection of Happy Meal toys that just kind of like end up in the back of my car because Emily's 14. She's not into the Happy Meal toys anymore. And I feel guilty throwing them away. So they just kind of like collect in the back of my car. And at, when like last year, even I would give them to one of her friend's little sisters because it was like, oh, you know, here we go. We'll give this to her. She'll have fun with it. It won't go in the trash. <clears throat> So I have probably a dozen um, Happy Meal toys floating around in the back of my car. Well, not really floating around. They were like neatly stacked in the middle of the seat. But beside the point, I found a, I guess it's supposed to be like a trophy um, at Target. <clears throat> what is happening? It's like a weird hourglass showing up on my screen. What's going on? Oh, pop-up time. Go away. Um, but anyway, so it's this... Um, it looks like one of those big pig cup trophies. It's got a handle on both sides. And it's this weird orange color, but it's clear. Um, and it was three bucks. So I was like, you know what? That would be cute. I can put the Happy Meal toys in there, put a little tag on it free, um, one per child type deal. So if their mom says, no, they can't buy anything, I can say, here, pick out, pick out a toy out of here. And that should make the little ones happy, right? So when I was setting up, I decided to put some of my really small items that I had made years ago, like some of the first things I had made. <clears throat> They're these weird little abstract monsters. I had uh, borrowed the book from the library and I crocheted everything in the book just for practice. So I had these sitting around and no one was buying. They'd pick them up and be like, oh, what is this? And I'd have to explain, oh, it's just a silly monster. And they would just put it back down. So that I'm another thinking like, what are you doing, lady? So I decided to put the silly monsters in the free bin along with the Happy Meal toys, kind of like a little, you know, mix it up a little bit. So this one lady picked up one of them and she's like, this is so cute. I love this so much. She's like, how much is this? I said, oh, that's, that's in the free bin. You go ahead and take it. She says, well, I'm not a child. I said, no, that's fine. I said, but I'm telling you that it's okay for you to take that. I want you to have it if you like it. <clears throat> so she walks away. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, she's very, very polite and, and very appreciative. And a few minutes later, she comes back and drops $5 on the table and says, I can't just take this from you. Thank you again. So she, she brought me back five bucks for this little monster that nobody has wanted for many years. <laughs> so that made my day, completely made my day. Um, but anyway, so I had a lot of fun talking to people. I got a ton of compliments boosted my ego quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So if you want to follow my crochet journey, I am doing it on Instagram. I had started Instagram um, many moons ago for some reason. Um, I think there was like a contest or something in the card world when I was back making cards. <clears throat> and then I, after that was over, I had just not messed with it anymore. And so now that I've gotten back into it, I decided that is going to be my designated crochet display, so to speak. Um, yeah. So I have a page on Facebook that is Tigger Scraps because that is my business name. Started that from the beginning when I was making cards. I've kept it. It's still Tigger Scraps because scraps is relatable to yarn. 
So it sticks, it stays. I'm not giving up tigger, stra tigger scraps. But anyway, so I have a Facebook page that is Tigger Scraps, where I used to post all of my cards that I was trying to sell and things like that. So if you are on Facebook and you don't want to, if you don't feel like searching on Instagram for me, go to Facebook, go to Tigger Scraps. It's got a, a heart with Tigger Scraps um, in it. And you will find a pinned post that has a link to my Instagram. Okay, so if that's the way you want to do it, that's fine. But if you are on Instagram, just search my name, Margie Franklin, all together. That's it. Simple, straightforward. There is a picture of Emily. Um, you will find another page that has a picture of me. That is not an active page. I started, um, I had gotten locked out of my Instagram at some point. I think it was when all this fiasco, if you've been here a while, you probably remember when my when I got hacked and I lost access to my emails. I lost access to my YouTube. I lost access to my Instagram. Um, it was heart sinking and crushing at the same time. It was like my life's work just flew away in the breeze. It was awful. So I had started a second Instagram so I could like keep going where I was because I was participating in and. Um, giveaways and stuff that I needed to keep posting for. So anyway, ignore the one that is my face. It's like, I think it's Margie.Franklin. And then look for the one that is Emily's face. It is just Margie Franklin. No spaces, no underscores, no dashes, no dots, no nothing. Just Margie Franklin. If you want to watch me grow my crochet. So... There's my PSA for myself for today. I hope you are still here and watching <laughs> after I rambled on for ooh, seven minutes. I'm so sorry. Oh, gosh. All right. Let's get to the reason why you're here because I have another, brace yourself, diamond painting Timu haul. I know. I know. You should be proud of me. I only have one order on its way to me right now, and I am doing everything in my power to not order anything else because I ordered way too much last month. I'm trying to be a good girl. There's so many things I want to order, and now I'm finding yarn on Timu, and I ordered some. I don't remember if I showed it to you or not. It's like a yellow with purple like speckles in it. It's really pretty, but I was I was concerned because you know. Hi, Bubba. Just got a tail run across my butt. Hey, Bubba. Um, stop that. Get your tail out of the tree. So I ordered this. It was two skeins. I think it was $3. So I'm thinking, okay, these are going to be little baby skeins because they really don't show you anything for scale. But when I got this yarn, it was... A normal size skein, well, I wouldn't say a normal size skein. It was a little bit smaller than a normal size skein, but it was, you know, it was worth $3 for two of them, definitely. I can't reach you, bub. I can't pet you right now. I'm sorry. He wants me to scratch his back, and I would have to lean way over, and that would be kind of awkward. So now I'm finding all this yarn. They have velvet yarn. They have tons of beautiful variegated yarns, which I absolutely love working with. They're so much fun, especially making toys because they just turn out super cute. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I've got a lot of yarn related stuff in my cart right now because I really don't need to keep buying diamond painting stuff because I have to watch. Um, I need somebody to come help me because I have so many projects, especially for my tree coming up. I haven't finished a single patriotic piece for my tree, and it's already May 6th. I'm so ashamed of myself, but the reason being, I keep getting chosen for tester patterns, but on the flip side of that, I keep applying. <laughs> so I need to stop doing that too. But anyway, let's get, let's get on with it because I'm sure you're tired of listening to me ramble. <clears throat> It's just one of those days mentally for me. I'm just kind of like. Okay. So first off, I will show you. 
Now these, when I first saw them, I thought they were keychains, diamond painting keychains. But then I realized they're not diamond painting keychains, and I still bought them anyway, even though I have zero clue what I'm going to do with them. But I might, they will most likely end up being glued back to back. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's five different styles and two of each. So I will probably glue them back to back and turn them into ornaments because otherwise they'll just sit in a drawer and they are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, enough talking. Let's do this instead. <clears throat> Here is what I'm talking about. It is an amazing feather butterfly shape with roses. It's got foil on it. It is clear acetate. So you can see there the clear acetate. And you can see the foil sparkles. It is just the coolest. So like I said, there's two of each design. And they do work out that they are symmetrical for the most part. So I could easily glue these back to back and then they, when they spin on the tree, oh, it'd be so pretty. So that's the first one. Let me keep using the backdrop for the package. This is how they came packaged. So I'll just show you on the backdrop so you don't have my face in, you, in there. So this is one. Ooh, lizard, turn around, there's a wasp behind you, eating. There is a gecko sitting on my patio chair and there's a wasp not six inches away from him and he acts like, I don't know, can they eat wasps? Do you think lizards eat wasps? Nope, just flew by in front of his face. He didn't even flinch. Okay. Oh well. Shame on you, lizard. I need that wasp gone. Emily's allergic to them. We can't have them around the house. She got attacked and stung almost 20 times in her face and head area. It's the scariest day of my life, I swear. Anyway, <clears throat> this is the third one. And then here is the fourth. Aren't they just cool? There's a set of blue ones also. And Robin, I know you got some of these um, what are you planning on doing with them? Because I just, I, I can't leave them sitting in a drawer somewhere and I can't think of any type of a card that I could make that would do them justice. I really love this one. This one is my favorite. So let me know if you have any other ideas of what I could do with these besides turning them into ornaments, which I seem to do with everything. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. I don't care. I like doing it, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> but seriously, if you have an idea of what I can do with these, let me know, because I could always order another set. Right? Okay. Next, I, I originally ordered this to give to my sister. I'll probably still give it to her, but I might order myself one. This is another garden flag, and it is the same thing. It is two pieces. Is it two pieces? I can't get a hold of it. I think it's just folded over. So anyway, it's two pieces printed on both sides. And it is an awesome horse busting through a flag. I just think it's so cool. They have car decals and there was a big blanket that they had too, all with this design. When I first saw this, I thought it was a diamond painting and I immediately clicked add to cart without even looking at it. And then when I went in next time, um, I saw it again. So I went in and looked a little bit closer, mainly because I wanted to see if it was the same listing. It had the same price, but I wanted to make sure it was the same thing. And I was like, oh, it's a garden flag. Okay. So that'll, I won't have to do a diamond painting for her. I can just give her the flag. <laughs> so bad but I think it's really cool and these are such nice quality I don't feel guilty paying I think it was 350 and giving it as a gift because it's nice quality 
And now she doesn't watch my videos, so I don't have to worry about her seeing them. Okay, that was the non-diamond painting. Now we have the diamond painting stuff. I had ordered this before I put myself on a no buying of diamond painting pins. So this was already coming when I said I wasn't going to buy anymore, so don't be mad at me. So this is really cool. I like the ridges, and I love the, like, marbly swirl. It's got, like, that pearl finish to it. It's so pretty. So pretty. It is too dual-ended, as always. And it came with a single placer, a curved single placer, a nine, six, and three, and the straight, the spatula, I call it. So it came with all those tips, which is really nice. And I want to say this was close to five dollars. It was like four eighty something or something like that. So still not a bad deal. Um, next, I will show you this because it's small. And I'll get it off my keyboard. First of all, we have my least favorite, my attaching nemesises. But we have this awesome piece. Isn't that cool? Super cool. Make sure there's no glare on it for you. Super, super cool. I love this. Our beautiful eagle. Oh! Sa uh, Saturday when I was at the craft show, uh, I was right across the, like, if you go to my Instagram, you will see what my view was from my booth, because that is, uh, was a reel that I did for Saturday, but there was a little pond right across from me, and there was, like, a little fountain and everything, and there, an eagle, not joking, an eagle swooped down into the pond and grabbed a fish and flew off, and I, i I was almost yelling and screaming because it was the coolest thing ever. Anyway, I love eagles. Eagles are awesome. But I think I've told you that before. So this piece is single-sided. This will go on the tree if I ever get it finished. This is the more flexible um, acrylic, but that's okay because it is thick enough. There you go. It's thick enough that it won't break easily, I don't think. But I think this is super cool. I like it a lot. So let's quickly take a look at the drills because there are some special shapes on here, if you noticed. So we'll start with the rhinestones. Of course, we have crystal, red, and blue. Light blue, deeper red, and some purple. Another light blue, regular black, a bright blue. We have some crystal AB marquee. We have some smooth, rounded blue marquee. We have more blue marquee, smaller ones, and then we have our awesome stars. That's a lot of marquees. So there is our eagle hanging piece. I'm just going to set this aside because if I put it away, it'll never get done. Um, it did come with the standard toolkit. Um, next, I'll show you the canvas. I got two canvases. Both are 30 by 30 partial special drills. Is she the cutest or what? I love her so much. She's so stinking cute. Ugh. I love the big eyes. She's so, so cute. There are 10 different stones on this one. And you can see how nice the canvas is. Look at her face. She's so cute. So cute. Just can't stand it. Sorry. All right, she is, let me make sure I get the right one. Okay, so we have standard toolkit on both of the canvases. Get that out of the way. 
and we'll take a look to see what kind of special drills she has. We'll start with the rhinestones again. We have a beautiful pale orange and a green. Then we have pink and purple. And then we have some fun gold half balls. Then we have beautiful smooth green ones. Some faceted AB pinks. Some beautiful bright green uh, teardrops. I'm looking at the canvas to see where they go. And then we have purple teardrops and awesome red AB teardrops. So this is going to be a really, really pretty piece when she is finished. And stick around to the end because I do have two pieces to show you. I've been meaning to show them to you and I keep forgetting. I'll be like, okay, I've got to show those before the video is over. But I don't put them on the table, so I forget to get them and show you. So I will show you at the end. So make sure you stay tuned if you want to see a couple of finished pieces from a little while back. That is longer than I care to admit. But anyway, so the next canvas is another 30 by 30 partial special drill. Is he majestic or what? He's awesome. He looks like he belongs in the Egyptian period. He's so cool. I love the colors, the rich, rich tones, purples and blues and reds it's, and gold. It's just so awesome. There are 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 different stones on this guy. So cool. See the canvas there is nice, beautiful. Look at that face. Oh, so cool. So cool. And there is the key. Everything is nice and clear. And moving on to his stones. See some of the bags. It's weird when they do that. Put some of them in bags and the rest are. So the special drills are in bags and the regular drill, the regular rhinestones are in here. So we've got clear, yellow, and brown. And look at all that like dust in there. There won't be any static in these babies. I hope they stick all right. We have this kind of champagne color, more brown and yellow, purple, fuchsia, and blue. Those are cool colors, warm colors, I should say. All right, we have awesome purple AB marquee. One giant yellow teardrop for his beak. Some yellow faceted rounds. Tiny, well not tiny, but compared to that one, it's tiny. Little yellow marquee. And beautiful, smooth, round blue ones. Very cool. This is going to be such a neat piece. I was going to try to figure, when I ordered it, I was thinking, oh, maybe I could put that on the tree, but I won't go that far. <laughs> it's a little much, don't you think? <laughs> All right, so there's that. I have two more things to show you, so hang in there. I'll try to go a little bit faster. So another standard toolkit. This is that darker green. Seems a little bit more sturdy than the original green ones. Ta-da! I don't need to buy any more of these, but I did. These will more than likely be a gift that I will turn into ornaments because um, the person I plan on giving them to, I'm pretty sure they will never be used if they are given as coasters. And they do a Harry Potter tree every year. So I think these will be really cool on their tree. So first I'm, I'm going to ask, would you prefer a set of coasters or a set of ornaments? Keeping it just that vague and see what the response is and we'll go from there. But we have Gryffindor, 
right? Yeah. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. And Hufflepuff. Another Slytherin for some reason. Then we have the cute Gryffindor. He's kind of hard to see with all the white dots, but the cute little Gryffindor character. The adorable little badger for Hufflepuff. And then we, oh, okay, that's why, duh. And then we have the Ravenclaw. So that's why there was another Slytherin. You dummy, you knew that's why. But it's, it just kind of threw me off because he's in... He's more of in the shield, like the, maybe this goes, these go, okay, never mind. Wait a minute. Time out. Let me fix this. So these are the houses. Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. You see, they are all the, like, crest. They are all the same crest shape. So that is the houses. And then you have these, which are the little mascots. So, I mean, they're both. Anyway, never mind. Never mind. You know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean, because I don't know what I mean. All right, so Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor. Slytherin. These are the cutesy versions. Because look at look at that. I mean, look at that. I am not a snake person, but that is a cute face on a snake. Where this guy is more serious. So these are the serious house crests. And these are the cutesy house pets, we'll call them. So each one of them is a little bit differently shaped. But anyway, I thought these were super cool. And I do have diamond paintings of some of the little cutesy characters. I know I have Gryffindor and Hufflepuff. I may have Slytherin too. I don't think I ever got Ravenclaw. But my plan was, this person I'm speaking of, um, my plan was to get all for their huge Harry Potter fans, um, her and her husband. My plan originally was to get the four of those, each of the houses, as on canvases, this was way before they started making coasters and yeah. But um, I was told that her husband really appreciates the effort and the work and he thinks they're absolutely gorgeous. But he doesn't want diamond paintings hanging on his walls. So I was like, okay, great. Now I've got Three of the four. I'm pretty sure I have three of them. Diamond paintings. Nobody to give them to now. So there's whatever. I was kind of offended, but then I then I was like, you know what? He was probably worried to have me know that. So for him to be honest with me and tell me not to take my time to give them diamond paintings that they would not be hung up, I kind of felt like that was that was pretty cool. So I wasn't offended anymore. But anyway, why are there so many? Man, there's so many. Holy mackerel. That's all for the coasters. And there's not a huge amount of many of the colors. Wow, that's a lot of colors. All right, this is going to be a drop. I'm not going to go through the rhinestone colors with you because you know the colors. There's reds and greens and blues and yellow if, and some orange. If you know Harry Potter at all, you should know those are the colors. If you don't know, I just told you. So we are not going to go through all these because it will take too long. And I told you I was going to try to move faster. And I'm talking a lot faster, so I need to shut up. Now. Ow. Got it. Oh. I hit my little fingernail somehow. I can't even remember how I did it now. I, I, I don't know. But it is so tender. Oh, it hurts so bad. 
And I'm planning on getting my nails done this week. So I'm like, hurry up and heal, please, because that will not feel good to have her drilling or him drilling on this nail when it's just so tender. It hoits me. All right, so we have more rhinestones. And I believe these are just rhinestones, so I will spare you the colors. We will figure it out by the project. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. So we have our standard toolkit again. And again, I did it again. But look at these. Wait till you see these. These are so cool. So these came with the cork. Peel and stick cork like another set did, which I think is really neat. I'm not sure why they don't just go ahead and put it on there, but I guess maybe if you want to do something different with them. So these are super cool. They are all in nature. So we have two butterflies, a moth, another butterfly. moon that one's cool I think that one's my favorite and we have this one with a butterfly two butterflies flying around with the moon and a mushroom Ooh, excuse me that was weird another mushrooms with a blue moon more mushrooms I do have the perfect friend I could give these two so I know they will not whoops I think I will definitely give them to her. Burping all of a sudden, excuse me. All right, that's it. Ah, no, just kidding. <laughs> I think I forgot again. I didn't forget. How are these in there? There we go. All right. I also forgot, I found one of the diamond painting kits at Dollar Tree. <coughs> so I, that was the only one, it was the very last one. I'm not a coffee person, so this will go in my market. <coughs> I think I inhaled some dust. <coughs> but anyway, I thought it was cute. So be on the lookout at Dollar Tree. You might be able to find some for yourself. All right, as promised, the finished canvases from a while back. Look at her. Look at her. Ooh, she's so sparkly and beautiful. I did change the regular crystal and put um, sparklers. I used the diamond dots. <clears throat> I don't know what happened to my throat. Um, these from, I buy them at Joann's in his little jars. But you got to watch it because they're discontinuing. I don't know if they're going to get new colors or if they're just not going to carry the diamond dots jars anymore. So run to Joann's if you want some stock up. They're like $3 a jar, which is a little much. But anyway, but look at that. I am so in love with this piece. It is beautiful, absolutely stunning. 